What is up guys? So I thought today I'll just give you a little tour of the pigeon shed. Say hello. There's mother. She's sitting. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, you're young and I. Oh. Hello. <laughs> little gingers, aren't you? No. <laughs> So, I thought today I would talk about how I survived prison whilst not being a tough guy, you know. I'm not a fighter physically. Mentally, I'm the baddest motherfucker on the planet. Mentally, I'm Noriega mixed with Schwarzenegger. You know, I know how tough I am mentally uh, because of what I've been through. I've been through heroin addiction, homelessness, I've been in eight different prisons. I've sat through a cold detox six months coming off of alcohol and Valium and pre-gabbling, gabapentin. So, you know, I, I know how tough I am mentally. Physically, I'm not much of a fighter. And I'm comfortable saying that because, you know, to be a true fighting man, there's very little out there. And when I say true fighting man, I mean those people will fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. None of this back and forth six week training camp blah 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 i'm talking about people like bartley gorman people like um roy shaw lenny mclean they were true fighting men you know you could king kong could put it on them and the next day they'd show up bare-fisted and they would fight that's the top level of fighting men then you get the middle level like people like danny christie decker heggy you know, they're willing to fight, but they do have limitations, you know. And then there's the pretenders, that there's no fight footage of them. They're just shouting and screaming and telling everyone how tough they are. So that's the level of fighting men. And I'm, un I'm comfortable knowing that I'm not a fighting man. But mentally I am. So anyway, I survived prison by being kind, being generous, being uh, just being a nice person. And I found that doing this and comedy as well I use comedy I find doing this showing people compassion in a place that's miserable and boring you get a lot of friends and people are willing to step up for you I know every time I've been to prison there have been at least 10 dudes willing to step up if I needed it so that's how I survived prison personally when I'm not a fighter you know I used humor compassion generosity and just being a nice person. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, press the thumbs up. Thank you very much.